So this was the treatment algorithm published in 2008. In due course, and this will be addressed in the upcoming issue of the journal, a new, newly designed treatment al algorithm for surgical interventions will be out. It has been proposed in 2012. Again, the separator is sphincter defect versus non-sphincter defect. Sphincteroplasty, of course, will not be an option if there is no sphincter defect. But now sacral nerve stimulation, injectables, and sphincteroplasty are on one line, and these treatments can be substituted by each other. In some patients, there may be a need to do a sacral nerve stimulation and add bioinjectables, or vice versa. And the second light treatment are those novel approaches, like tibial nerve stimulation, which will create a tension, which is already in the focus due to the fact that it's easy, simple to apply, and not too expensive. Magnetic sphincter is around. Preliminary data are promising. Slings will come in the, in the next few, few years. And the other treatments are more individualized uh, procedures for very advanced cases of fecal incontinence. The summary of my talk is now we do have a structured diagnostic approach. We do have tools which are mandatory, which is endoanal ultrasound. Anorectal manometry is helpful in quantifying uh, the changes of the physiology we induce. It's not so helpful in uh, decision making. It's also a helpful tool in, with regards to medical legal aspects. These are part of advanced diagnostics. Functional MRI will become more and more important as our understanding that fecal incontinence may be due to problems of defecation disorders is increasing. Various surgical techniques are available, most of them being minimal invasive nowadays, and there's a clear trend to do minimal, more, even more minimal invasive procedures, and the outcome measures are very standardized. We do not only measure symptoms, we do measure quality of life, and this is the ultimate goal, to improve quality of life. So, is fecal incontinence a threat to quality of life? Not anymore. Thank you very much for your kind attention. <laughs>